Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the GameFi token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step everything you have to do in order to buy this token. Before we get started here, I just want to remind everyone that I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on my channel. So if you guys are interested in crypto and you want to learn more about the space, I really recommend subscribing as I'll have lots of content coming out now and into the future. Anyhow, first things first here, we just want to open up our Trust Wallet and get into there. And I'm just going to let you guys know if you do not have create like if you have not created your trust wallet yet or you do not have BNB inside of your trust wallet, I will not be showing you how to do that inside of this video here. I'll have separate tutorials linked in the description and in the comment section down below if you guys need to learn how to do that first. So you guys can just go there, learn how to do either of those two things and then come back to this video. But once you're back in this video, I just want to make sure you understand as well that you do have to have your BNB inside of your smart chain wallet in order to show up on the exchange. So if you have your BNB inside of your BNB wallet right here, you just want to go ahead and click on that, click on swap, and then right here at the bottom, you'll see swap to smart chain. You're going to make sure that you swap the correct amount of BNB that you want to spend over to your smart chain wallet or else you will not be able to see it on PancakeSwap. So that's very important. But once you have that in there, you're now good to go to the next step, which is just going to be copying the contract address for the token and adding it to our trust wallet. So I'll have a link in the description for CoinMarketCap. So you guys can just head over there, click on CoinMarketCap, and then I'll show you guys what to do next. And once you're on CoinMarketCap here, you just want to go down to where you see contracts. All the way over to the right, you'll see two little squares. You want to go ahead and click on that to copy the address. Once you've copied the address, we can then head right back into our trust wallet. Once we're back in our trust wallet here, we can go to the top right corner of our screen where we see the two lines and two circles. Click on that, then go to the top search and paste in this contract address. You will then see no assets found, add custom token. So we just go ahead and click on add custom token. We're going to have to change the network from Ethereum over to Smart Chain. Then we can just go ahead and paste this contract address in. Everything else will load in automatically for us here. So we just go ahead and click on save in the top right corner. And then we'll now have a place for our token to go once we do swap for it. So once you have that, you can then back out of here. And all we have to do now is head over to the exchange. So I'll have a link over to PancakeSwap in the description as well as in the comment section down below if needed. Or of course, you guys can Google it. So just make sure you're using the official PancakeSwap website, which is going to be PancakeSwap.Finance. Uh, so just be aware of that. Um, but yeah. Once you guys are heading over there, I'll show you what to do next once you're on the website. And once you're on PancakeSwap here, another warning, guys, just make sure you're on PancakeSwap.Finance. There's a lot of phishing scams going around right now, and the official PancakeSwap has just added a warning to the top of their page. So let's take a quick peek and make sure you're on PancakeSwap.Finance before you connect your wallet. Very important. I don't want you guys to lose your money. Uh, so just be aware of that before we get started here. Uh, anyways, all you have to do now is connect your wallets to start off. So we're going to go to the top right corner of our screen where we see Connect Wallet. Click on Connect Wallet. And then we're going to click on Wallet Connect. We're then going to click on Trust Wallet. And then we'll get a notice inside of our Trust Wallets here asking us to connect our Trust Wallet to PancakeSwap. This is so we can use our balance of BNB and swap it into this token. So we just go ahead and click on Connect and then head right back over to PancakeSwap. Now once we do that, we'll know our wallet's connected when we see our wallet icon in the top right corner as well as our balance of BNB right above BNB right here. So now all we have to do is click select a currency and paste in that contract address. Once we do that, we'll see the GameFi token pop up here. So we can go ahead and click on import, I understand, and then import. Now, once we have both tokens in here, we will have to adjust our subage tolerance. So if we just go beside exchange where we see this little settings gear here, click on that. And then under swaps and liquidity, you'll see slippage tolerance. Now for this token, it will change depending on the liquidity of the token at the time. So you guys can try using something like 1% to see if it goes through for you. If you do get an error, you will have to slowly move this up. So let's just say, for example, if 1% doesn't work, I'd probably go to 5%. Uh, and then if that doesn't work, probably 10%. Typically with tokens on PancakeSwap, they range from 10 to 12, maybe 14%. But since the price of this token is pretty high, the slippage tolerance might not be as high. Uh, so just be aware of that. But you guys will have to play around with this slippage tolerance until you're able to get it to go through. Um, but yeah, so I'd start off with probably like 5%, but you guys can try one if you would like to. Um, but yeah, once you figure out the slippage tolerance you want to try, you can go ahead and exit out of here. And then all you have to do is put in the amount of BNB that you want to transfer into this token. So let's just say, for example, you put one BNB. It's then going to show me the amount of the GameFi token I'll get in exchange for that BNB. Now, if you're comfortable with whatever you see here, you can go ahead and click on where it says swap, where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. Once you click on swap, it's going to show you a broken down version of your transaction, showing you your withdrawal fees and things like that. So just make sure you understand that before you go through with the next swap button there. Once you click on swap one more time, it's going to bring you to a screen inside of your trust wallet, asking you to confirm the transaction. So just make sure you understand that it's taking the coins from your trust wallet and then swapping it into this token for you. 
Uh, if you understand that, then you can go ahead and click on confirm. And then you should get a check mark saying the transaction was successful. Uh, once you receive that transaction successful notice, we can then head right back into our trust wallet and your tokens will arrive in your little GameFi wallet that you just created, uh, usually within a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out, showing you guys how to buy the GameFi token using trust wallet and PancakeSwap. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.